Let me tell you about a trip I took a couple weeks ago to Pikes Peak. First off, I took a flight to Denver, then from the Denver airport I took an Uber to the Hampton Inn. Then from the Hampton Inn I took a bus to Colorado Springs, and I bought this bike. I am in Colorado Springs right now. This is a 2012 YZF R1. But I'm going to go to Pikes Peak today on this, but it's going to be awesome. And I promise I am way less tired today when I'm doing the voiceover than I was when I was actually riding the bike. So as you're driving, please abide by the regular rules of the road, so no passing over the double yellow, those kind of things, no speeding. 30 miles an hour on the speed limit. things about my bike that are very different from my 600. I used to have a 600. Incidentally, it was a YZF 600R, which is different than the R6. It's a little bit heavier. You're a little more upright in your position. Uh, it's the same motor, but you don't have the same power to weight ratio. The bike's handling is significantly different. Even though that 600 was it was a wonderful bike, I can feel how much heavier it was. Turning, oh man, this R1, it loves to turn. It absolutely, I mean, you can lean that bike over just, just like that. It does not like to go slow. The bike wants to go. In fact, it's kind of unstable and a little bit more dangerous at 20 or 30 miles an hour than it is at 60. I mean, it doesn't even wake up until about 60 miles an hour, and even then, it's still just kind of stretching its legs, you know? Beautiful road. Get up past the tree line. You can see for miles and miles. Still, unfortunately, there's just these cars everywhere. I would even slow down occasionally to hopefully get a little bit of room in front of me, but then the cars behind me are just on my tail, right? feet you can feel it this uh, road we just went on we actually have a race that goes up this mountain this awesome beautiful mountain from which you can see five different states you climb 10,000 feet you do 156 corners I'm gonna say though if you're if you're into the sport bike and want to do a lot of fun cornering this this road you know, it's not the best for that, not because of the road, but because of everybody else on the road. Speed limit's not bad. I mean, you could get your knee down going to the speed limit if you wanted to. 
uh, <clears throat> but most people five miles an hour around corners that are you know speed limit's 30 miles an hour start making my way down the hill well YouTube I just finished summiting and coming back down Pikes Peak don't let me <laughs> move around anyway 